Hey y'all, it's Justy. Hey, welcome to the V Day edition. We are going to do a surprise box where it's going to be three layers of fun. And it's very easy, very simple. The hardest thing about this was getting the boxes. I could not find any boxes in Dollar Tree because that's where I really wanted to go. So I went to Amazon. Would not recommend getting these boxes from Amazon because they were too expensive. Um, I did see, however, after the fact that they did have a few boxes at Walmart, Target, probably like Hobby Lobby. Um, if you search probably for different Dollar Trees, you probably could find what you need. Now, Robert is very simple. He doesn't like many things. So we're going to do a very simple box. Um, I should have put some more cash money in it, but I don't really care around cash. So I was using what I had on hand, which was candy and gift cards and a gift card. So this would be also kind of cute too if you wanted to do a um, gift card box for like somebody's going to college. You can do four, eight, maybe like eight gift cards to um, someone, even for your loved ones too, like their favorite restaurants, favorite place to get coffee, snacks, food, all that stuff like that. Um, at home, Target, the gift card are endless okay also get yourself a box cutter for this i just use my blade um i was about to use what i usually call it but my blade that i keep in my purse and i just did it there i just cut the sides of it y'all i do not cut straight that well so some of them was a little bit rocky but it's okay um so you're basically just gonna get the favorite candies that your spouse or loved one, friend, best friend, Galentine day, date, cousin, anybody they like. Robert is really simple. He likes Reese's, Snickers, 100 grand. Pretty much it. He'll eat the pink Starburst or red ones, I think. No, I think it's just pink. Yeah, he get all pink. Um, other than that, he don't really eat too much of it. Now, we really haven't been eating candy and stuff like that after the fast or even before the fast, quite honestly. Um, but I decided to go ahead and get it. Now, first thing that I did that was messed up was some Snicker bars. I did not realize they were full size. And baby, full size candy does not, when I say do not, <laughs> does not work on these boxes. They are too big. Um, it's going to be hard for you to close it. Now, if you wanted to... If you were just doing one layer of the one box, you could probably maybe put them in the middle for it to open and then the Snickers will fall out. But to me, that just doesn't make sense. You're going to use double-sided tape. I did get a double-sided tape from Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I looked at the boxes and they just did not have what I needed. So anyway, you're going to see me here trying the full-size Snickers and candy, but it just did not work. So, using the full-size ones was not the best idea. It does fit. However, it does not close. It's like the Snickers is suffocating. And we don't want that. You know what I mean? Just joking. And plus, it's extremely hard to close. And it's just too, like, bulky. So, it just won't work. And then, I will tell you, I overstuffed these boxes to the point that the seams was ripping out just a little bit. Okay? Um... So be very mindful of that. And then once you get the hang of it, it's super easy still, but you're going to have to maneuver a few things, make sure things fit. For me, I was just trying to stuff it as much as possible, just because I'll know it lasts for a long time. And also just because I know it was a few of um, Robert's favorite things. So I just wanted to use everything. Now the Skittles, I ate those, okay? I actually ate them this morning um because he like i said he's very very um particular about what he what he wants or what he wants to eat so yeah which is fine um because i know I, I have a few favorite things that i like like my favorites are almond joys twix without the chocolate topping like i just like the cookie out of the twix i love whatchamacallit's um i love peanut m ms i love kit kat mint and i love snicker almonds like those are just a few of the faves and I love me an edible arrangement, okay, baby? <laughs> Ain't nobody asked about that, but that's what I'm just saying. Like, I love that. Um, but, yeah. So, do whatever the person that you're making this box for, whatever they love. I should have also did something to Walmart, like a gift card to Walmart. But I wasn't even really thinking about that. 
Um, and plus, I don't really go to Walmart like that. Um, Robert uh, uh, does like pickup orders from there. But anywho, anyway. So I started on the second one. And as you're going to see here, I was stuffing this box, okay? Like the second box, I don't know what possessed me to do this. But I thought it was going to close, y'all. Like I had so much faith in myself. Like, oh, this is going to close. They're all going to fit just perfectly. Because look how it was just coming together. I was moving a little bit quicker. Like I just knew that this was going to work. <laughs> baby when i tried to close it it said no ma'am no ma'am mm -mm. go ahead and take some take some of this stuff out or try again try again which wasn't like i said it's super easy still it wasn't hard to do it's just you got to maneuver play around with it so that it can actually close and not bust out the seams okay <laughs> so um i am now on the last box which was so simple so cute i just put the um gift card at the bottom and I think I just put four pieces of candy around the sides if I did more it ended up being only four pieces by the end of it and you're also going to see me do it a different way as well so here it is I'm starting to do the the um top of it and like I said oh my god this is so cute like with just one it was super simple super cute and plus i was running out of favorite candies that he liked anyway so we just did what we had to do i don't even think he really liked twix i do so i'm gonna probably be eating those um and then what was the other thing i was gonna say to you guys i actually did the box two ways one way i think i i thought i saw it <laughs> i could be wrong but here is how it looked real cute and this is how it will look of course once it's open and yeah i just thought it was real cute real easy real simple right now let's just see me trying to close this thing up and here is where it got real i was like oh, oh no baby uh-uh i need to take some stuff out i need to figure out some stuff and um maneuver some things which like again i said it was fine but look it yeah it wasn't going nowhere so i had to take some of the stuff out Again, it's not a waste because we'll still eat the candy, but you'll just have to move some things around, like I kept saying. Um, and then it should work, and you'll 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 get the gist of what's going to work and what's not. You might have to use a little bit of man power or woman power, um, but yeah, it'll it'll work. At this point, I was throwing candy around, throwing stuff off of it. Um, like okay, look now, something gotta give. And then it finally worked out for me. And I just had to smush it just a smidgy. And that was it. Look at me. I was, I was going through. But again, it really wasn't that difficult. I was just going through just a little. And I was just trying to clean up some of the stuff. And here is when I figured out, no ma'am, the Snickers will not work and i thought even like if one might work like because i was on two i was like so maybe one will work mm -mm. one didn't work either so full size candy is just not something that is going to work here at all because look nope and even if i would have did it this way like you see nope still didn't work mm -mm. and i also think it's because it's sealed in you know that it puffs up once you start to push it in instead of having the air out of it and then taking the air out of that or cutting that open would be pointless and crazy to do. So I did not do that. So I just changed it up a little bit and I changed the candies that was on the side. And you also might have to move them a little bit closer to each other, which is fine and which is easy to do as well, like I said. And then, I don't know, let me know in the comments below, would you have done it with each top on it? You're going to see that I do something a little bit different. Robert actually suggested it. He was like, just put on the big top so that you don't have to do the other tops. And I was like, okay, cool. Because he was like, it'll open all together at one time instead of someone having to undo the large one, undo the medium one, undo the small one. Which made sense. And here is the struggle bus. But... I think it was just because I was rushing for time. So I really wanted to get it done. But 
it didn't, it took probably under 15 minutes to be honest. And, um, yeah, you just got to maneuver and make it work. Um, I know I said that so many times, but anyway, anywho, back at it again. And this look at what I said is busting out the, out the sides, but it still was, it still was a go. And then here it is opened. And then I just, well, Robert said, put some candy in the middle of it and then only use one top and watch how smooth it went. Like, I love this idea. Like, I love that you could put confetti in the middle. You can do all that stuff in the middle, whatever you want to do. But look, look how it came out this way. I love this way. And I don't know if I've seen people do it or not, but I thoroughly love this way. It was so simple. It was so smooth. Only had to do one box and then look, voila, everything was perfect. I loved it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This was really a cute idea. Real easy, real simple. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.